What's going on guys? It's me Pavin. And if you guys are looking to improve your Madden game and want to learn firsthand from someone who's made deep runs in the Madden $750,000 club championship tournament, I'm your guy. I recently just dropped my New York Jets offensive ebook and alongside that is my game plan for additional $10. So my offensive ebook is $20, game plan 30, game plan you get a couple defensive setups and I will be updating both these ebooks, both these game plans as the year goes on. Really great offer. The link will be down in the description. Go check it out, 818madden.com. I know this will make you a better Madden player. Yo, 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 what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. And this video is, you know, a little more important than some of the other ones. Ever since, you know, my clubs run, I hadn't had really that much success competing in these, you know, online uh, competitive formats, whether it be DC or regs. I started to upload some DC videos for you guys. Did get popped in those, um, but you know, it is what it is. The main reason of this video and why I'm talking to you right now is because we're back, baby. Madden Bowl for the third year, I'm trying to get my, you know, Hopefully we get another hat. You know, it just means a lot because at first we, I, none of us even knew if there was gonna be a Madden Bowl. So uh, to break it to you, yes, there is a Madden Bowl. I'm gonna get into the details very shortly. But yeah, man, uh, Madden Bowl is back. A lot of people were wondering if, you know, what, what, what it was gonna be, um, if we were gonna even have it, when it was gonna happen. And you know, this, it might shock you if you haven't heard about it yet. Uh, just warning you right now, cause it definitely shocked me. Um, I wish I could have done a live comp, but you know, it was very early in the morning and uh, the stream had broken up a couple times, uh, the EA stream, I should say. But you know, before we get into all that, shout out to RG, shout out to everyone who is gonna make Madden Bowl possible. At least we have one. You know, I know it's crazy these times, this year and last year, they put on so many tournaments. So I'm just grateful, man. And you know, I'm ready to go to work, uh, try to get back in that first place back on top. So with all that being said and done, I'm just like I said, I'm blessed. Let's get in the video. Let's check out the details. And you know, I'm I'm not, you know, saying, oh, let's go. It's what I wanted, but you know, it is something different for sure. And you know, sometimes different is good. Get into the And obviously like you format. see draft edition. So just Boom. let's just see what RG has to say. We're going to have eight team single elimination bracket. Each of the eight team each of the eight teams will have three players per team. So you heard it right there, guys. Uh, Madden Bowl for the first time ever. First time even in MCS format. It's going to be, you know, you're going to have to rely on your teammates. And, you know, you could love this. You could hate it. When I first heard this, I'm like, oh, my goodness. What is going on? What are they doing? But, you know, it isn't that bad. I, the more I think of it, the more I look into it. Um, you know, I'm gonna let RG talk a little bit more and then I'm gonna give him my thoughts on it But like I said, man teams of three 24 players eight teams and uh, I'll get a little bit more into it in a second this year. There will be 24 of you making the Madden ball 24 people is like a lot that. Increased in people that get a chance to wet their beak make some guap go for the glory and compete on the big stage W for me. I agree with RG. Now, this is where it gets exciting and interesting. As a Madden fan, it is different. Each round will be a best of three. So game one is- So you guys heard that right there, best of threes. Um, we, we love that so much as Madden players. You know, we've been stressing for a long time. We need best of threes. Single elimination is too fluky in a given Madden. Uh, with the best of three format, you know, squads is a little different as you see right there it says game one is squads it's a little different you know i'm not completely sold on that but you know i'm gonna do what i have to do get in the lab get right for squads because i did have some fun in that last yard invitational um it was really really fun and you know hopefully we could replicate that hopefully there's a more skill gap in that than there was in yard because sometimes in yard there's just a lot of fluky things happening hopefully in squads you know they cut down on mutt squads Three versus three. No matter what, each team is going to face off in a squads game. This is the first time we will ever get to see squads played on the MCS circuit. I'm excited to see that. I'm excited to see the strategies. I'm excited to see the communication. Yeah, like he said, a lot of communication and strategies are going to be shown off. And I'm sure a lot of emotion will be shown off too. It's almost going to be impossible to compete, keep your composure if something's going wrong. Especially, you know, you have two teammates. Um, that's definitely going to be something to look out for, guys. You know me. I'm going I'm to keep cool. I'm going to do my thing. 
and you know i feel like the whoever is you know most uh calm most eased out will you know hopefully be the most successful um and so i gotta say for that right now two because this is a best of three will be picked and i'm not pot i think they're still working on will it be the winner or the losing team that gets to pick game two let me know in the chat what y'all think it should be should it be the winning team or the losing team that should get the pick game too either way i don't really mind on that aspect winner or loser i don't really care for that i do have some qu questions hopefully like uh watching this back over again i get the answers but you know it will be a bunch of questions that you and i have at, at the end of this video that will be left on answer but you know i'm sure they'll get those answers for us played in either mutt mutt draft a much salary cap one of the teams will get to pick which mode it will be in game two and then each team will send out a representative from their team to play in that game mode and if at the end of game two we have to go to a game three the winning team will pick again what mode we play of in game three but it's a no repeat of the mode or the player so you're gonna have to switch up the player and you're going to have to switch up the mode um that idea seems cool to me i feel like in game two though if they really really wanted to make it action packed um i feel like there would be more control if you know uh each player let's just say one 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 so you know uh, obviously if player one and player two on the specific team on the right side they win then obviously they go to they they either just win the thing or they go to game three depending on game one result but i feel like uh let's just say I, this is my team versus jay wall's team i win the mutt section jay wall's team uh you know if, if they did it like this it would be cool uh let's just say you know instead of me just winning one mutt game and now we, we win the thing i wish it could have been like a, a best of three of the best of three if you know what i mean best of three of game two so Let's just say, oh, I, I go out there, I'm, I win game one, and then my second player comes in, and he has to play draft, which I'm not a big fan of. We all know I don't like draft. I wish it could have been something else, but, I mean, uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, you know, it would be really cool if, you know, I won game one, and then, you know, my player has to win again, and then we just win the thing. Or, you know, we go to game three, depending on the game one result. I don't like how it's just, oh, you pick one representative, they pick one, and they just go out there, and, you know, oh, whoever wins that is out, or whoever wins that wins, because... You know, it could be, it could go by like that. So, like, let's just say, oh, we lose game one in Mutt Squads. Okay, that's cool. You know, I did play in a little bit, but it is Mutt Squads. So, you know, I don't have as much control as I can in, you know, a single game of, you know, Mutt or, you know, a single game of Salary Cap. You know, it, it, it could potentially be something like, oh, let's just say I, we lose Mutt Squads. And then, you know, I, you know I, I send out my other guy. You know, I, whatever, whoever else I draft, I think I have confidence in him. And he loses. And, you know, now we're just out because it is a best of three. They won two. I feel like it'd be really, really cool. And I, they may be doing this. I may have misinterpreted it. Hopefully, they switch up on it. But it would be really cool if, you know, oh, I have to play Mutt. And then I win that. And now my guy, I send my guy in. He plays Mutt draft for us. And, you know, oh, he loses that. And then our third guy comes in and he has to clean it up. I feel like there's more control in that. And, you know, that'd be really nice. I, it would make it a little bit longer. But I feel like at the end of the day, if they are doing a format like this, I think they do and we'll be able to have the time but you know it is what it is uh that's just something i have in mind hopefully i can talk to rg a little bit later hopefully he sees this i love rg I, man. Heat. I still got heat to bring and if you i'll see q is, is a dub cool, man i'll just let you know on the format. way this shit's really cool this is really cool so that is the format eight teams single elimination three players per team each round will be a best of three game one mud squads game two one of the teams will either pick Mutt, Mutt Draft, or Mutt Salary Cap. And then in Game 3, if necessary, one of the teams will pick a new mode that hasn't been used and a new player from their team to face off. It is new. It is interesting. I'm happy. I think it's very cool. And I will share my thoughts on the event overall at the end of this. So let's get the top eight players will be identified as team captain. So there's going to be eight team so captains. So you see right here, guys, there's eight captains. Each captain will select two people from the pool of 16 competitors, and which I believe will be a live draft. Live draft is a dub, man. Uh, I'm going to be a little nervous for that. Hopefully my draft skills are on point. Draft their two teammates to make up their team of three. Pretty cool. So obviously we're going to have to see how the draft order goes, see you know who picks first, 
who picks second, what kind of order they do, if they go on order and then they just recycle it, or if they, you know, do something else, I will make sure to let you guys know that. I'll pump out a lot of content around this time. And for the most part, this is looking very interesting. Um, like I said, when I first saw this, I'm like, what are they doing? And slowly but surely, it's like, okay, it's cool. You know, I could rely on my teammates a little bit if I'm not feeling that well that day, um, as in, you know, my game sense. But, you know, uh, we'll just have to see. That last thing I said would be really, really a big W if uh, they could add that, man. That just gets your whole team involved, like I said. Um, but for the most part, 28, 24 people is a lot. Like, that's a lot, man. That's probably the most amount of people we've had in a single tournament besides Club Series since, like, Madden 17. So, that's a lot. And, you know, this draft thing is pretty cool. Two players who don't even know yet. These guys don't even know are going to find out that they are qualified for the Madden Ball. You guys guess who they are? And not only are they qualified for the Madden Ball, they're team captains. Guess guess and right now in the chat. <laughs> nah. Boom. You see it right here. You're I'll break this down a little bit. It'd be super cool if I did a live comm to see this in person. I always had that feeling, you know, like I made a really good run in like pretty much one of the, the biggest tournament of the year. I think everyone's saying, oh, like, you're locked, you're locked, you're locked for Madden Bowl if they had one. And, you know, it is here. Um, I'm definitely proud of this. But like I said, got to keep going, man. Uh, Madden Club Championship didn't end the way I wanted to. But this could definitely end the way I wanted to. And I'm going to let RG talk a little bit. But look at all these different captains. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight captains, which are two already chosen. And basically this weekend, it's going to be a lot of these guys being chosen lcq ps4 and xbox is a little later down the line but for the most part these four are going to be picked and chosen and yeah the madden ball captain is your madden club champion j wall congratulations j wall you're in the madden ball and you are a captain brother congrats this is the first time j wall will be finding out about that i am happy for you the madden club champion runner up will also be a captain that is pavin Pavin Lakat. Yes, sir. Congratulations, Pavin. Yes, sir. You two are in the Madden Ball, and you will be a captain. I'm excited for you. That is dope. So like I said, man, the captain basically just draft two other players on your team. Um, you can't just go, oh, I want him and him right away. I'm sure there'll be some type of order, some type of draft process, just like the NFL draft, NBA draft, all these drafts. We will find out. Four of them this weekend. You are going to have your Madden Classic PS4 winner will be a captain. Your Madden Classic Xbox One winner will be a captain. And then your Challenge PS4 and Xbox win winners will also be a captain. And what do you see at those last two spots? Your LCQ PS4 winner and your LCQ Xbox One winner will be captains. You guys say, what is that? So uh, RG is going to talk about LCQ in a second, but um, I just want to say something really quickly. LCQ, both consoles. Um, if you guys have a nice Mutt team, why not join, man? Uh, this is what you guys have been waiting for the whole time. Whether you didn't like playing regs, whether you didn't like playing drafts, join up and you never know. You might meet me there. I might draft you. You never know what may happen. Here are the people that I may be able to draft. And so not Gucci. You guys have made the Madden Ball at the very least you will be in the draft pool guys if that it were to come down to it congratulations i man. would definitely pick west the thing is west is still in some of these online tournaments that are happening this weekend so he might himself be a captain so be on the lookout for that um for the most part you know those are some people nice people i might be able to choose from and obviously just gonna have to keep an eye on these guys, guys down here i hope you're jumping up and right up and down right now I hope you're hyped. Super dope. Now, on top of that. And lastly, guys, uh, you know, like I said, the Madden Challenge, Madden Classic, there'll be two people for there each. And then obviously the six people. Wow, that's a lot. Six people from LCQ. Lock in, guys. So this Look at that, man. It's that is actually pretty it's beautiful, if you ask Guali, me. But it's all about the Guali. I feel like they distributed it pretty, really, really well. Pool. So pretty, and I really. Will say, uh, I believe this Dubs is the, in the chat, man. prize pool for Madden Ball ever. So Dubs in the chat, man. I, I was a little skeptical, man. I'm like, you know, I still am, obviously. I was like, oh, my God. I don't know this, that, this, that. To team up, to rely on teammates. As, as soon as I saw this number right here, boys, cha-ching. 
330k prize pool that's amazing man uh like i said this pretty you have to lock in you could end up down here i don't want to be this guy i don't i'm not trying to be this guy man i'm not trying to be this guy right here 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 i'm trying to be this guy up here and uh, i don't know if they're gonna have a belt or not i don't think they are which is a bummer you know me i'm chasing my legacy i'm trying to get those belts but at the end of the day i'm sure they'll come up with some type of trophy medallion whatever it may be but that that right there that right there that's what we're playing for man that's what we're playing for as soon as i seen this i'm like yep there it is that's what i needed to get my head in the game first place 150k 50k per player second place 60k 20k per player not only for everyone trying to get in this which is fire nice prize pool i think I'm, yeah i'm happy for with sure it given the year that we've had and how crazy things have been. But if you win the classic or the challenge, or you, let me pull up that prize pool. Second for 8K. So here guys is basically, he's just talking what, about the upcoming tournaments this weekend. You're gonna get an additional 5K added onto those winners. Players who play this weekend make by got a really good opportunity on their hands. I wish I locked in for these tournaments, man. The regs tournament, so the DC tournament. It's not just the 15, the, the Madden Ball LCQ format. Here, guys, is the LCQ be format. A day mutt ladder on Battle 5. It'll be next weekend, Friday, I'm Saturday, let him talk for a and second. Sunday. It's a three-day ladder. Registration is free. Wow, free. You don't even need to have to pay that $5 Friday entry. When all of the information opens and registration will stay open until the ladder starts on 4-2. So you will have a week to register for the last chance. Today to is the 25th. Yeah, so yeah, it's a week. To play those ladder games. And what you want to do is be the top, make the top 128 for your council. Because the top 128 players after that three day ladder. This info is very valuable for guys for you guys at home. A double elimination bracket. Me personally, single, don't got to worry about LCQ, double, but hey. Boom. It's what the community asked for. It's what you get for one of the biggest events of the year. The LCQ, your last chance. You're going to get to play in a double elimination bracket, 128 per council. It will be a three day double elimination bracket on 4 9, 4 10, and 4 11. That's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The following Friday, Saturday, and Sunday after the latter. And I tweeted this out a while ago. I said, hey, you guys might want to clear your schedules. Huge stuff for the LCQ. Like I said, thankfully, I don't have to go through this. Last year, I did have to go through the LCQ gauntlet, and I ran it. I won the PS4 side, and it's honestly crazy time. Someone's going to go on a run. Someone is actually going to turn up. They're going to actually turn, like, go on fire. Uh, and, you know, they are just going to run through the gauntlet. I can't wait to see who it is. I can't wait to watch their games. Uh, this is really, like, the, like I said, the format is extremely different than years prior. But this is when Madden usually turns up a lot. Um, there's a lot of really sweaty games. Uh, someone is really going to get good and show them, show off how good they are. Show themselves uh, that, you know, they are a name in this community, in this, uh, you know, Madden circuit. And I can't wait for that. Uh, and, you know, like I said, I can't wait for the talent that's going to be left uh, for me to potentially draft for them. Guys, if you want this registration, battlefy.com madden21 lcq go check it out registration is free shout out to rg for doing everything um presenting it and everything this is a dub man like i said the format is questionable but we're gonna fight we're not gonna complain about it you know me i always fight never complain and last but not least madden bowl live broadcast dates i'm gonna let rg talk a little bit none of that mumbo jumbo old school what was it ultimate league stuff no we're live we're live. we're live. We're live. And you'll see you have the draft day on 420, April 20th. Be there. April 25th, 26th, 27th. It's 26th, coming up, man. April Holy snap. Single, elimin single elimination match days. And then May 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, you will have your two semi. May 2nd and 3rd, your two semifinals. May 4th, you will have your finals. The other thing that's cool about this format is this is happening right around the draft. So the fact that this format gets to tie in with that NFL draft that's happening right around this time frame 
is a W. That means you get more NFL support. You get more chances yeah. to interact with that type of stuff. Maybe this is where you can really grow yourself so, out, man. This is really cool. Here are your broadcast dates. Schedule them in. Take a screenshot. Do what you have to do. I'm have to go on TV. So. Um, and hopefully we make it to May 4th. May 4th, I, if I remember correctly, that's the day I, I lost a joke last year. I could be completely wrong, by the way. Um, but you know, hopefully we could revenge ourselves from last year. So I actually think I'm wrong on that one, but hey, it's around the same time I lost in Madden Bowl Final Four last year. Hopefully we can make a name. And before I even end this off, um, there are a couple names that are, you know, got to fight for it. So Henry, Ghost, Kiv, um, Dr Drini probably will end up making it off those four events. Congrats to him. Clef. And, uh, you know, there's a bunch of more names. Lil Tony. Um, Joke. I don't know if I said him or not. Um, who else is there that may be left off? The, like I said, there's a, a lot of names that are going to be fighting still. And I, I'm ready to watch those games, man, because those games will be sweaty. So there it is, guys. Um, I'm really excited to see what Madden Bowl got for me. What I got for Madden Bowl. Um, just got to wait some time and get in the lab. Draft, please. I don't want to play no draft. Uh, that's literally the worst thing. Oh, I hate my draft. But anything besides that, you know, I'm fine with everything that was shown and you know, that was there. Let's fight, man. I need your guys' support. Um, hopefully, I see you guys out there trying to grind for LCQ. It's a beautiful time. Stay safe. Bless up. Grind season is now, man, for all of us. Let's get to it. Catch you guys. Peace.